So I'm going to try out the Sunjack solar panel and charge my tablet. See how it goes. Now, today it's only partly cloudy, so it's not the best conditions in the world. Let's see how long the cable is here. We've got USB 2, would be the uh, higher output USB port. Uh, the cable's really short. I might have to get a different cable. See if you can see all that in the camera. That's a long solar panel. I'm going to have to get a towel to cover my tablet with. But, let me see here. And it kicked on. The tablet is showing that it is charging. Yes, it is. Let me unlock and see what percentage we have here. I can barely see because I'm outside. We are... Charging 69%. Okay. Can't see. All right, put it back to sleep mode. Covered up, and I'm going to put a towel over that. So, right now, it's 69% at 130 in the afternoon. And partly sunny. So. It's uh, it's really not perfect. It's actually overcast, somewhat overcast, but it's coming and going. So we'll let it go for a while. We'll cover that up, and uh, we'll come back later and see how it does. I'm pretty excited to see how well it performs out here. 14 watt solar panel should charge that up pretty well. Well, it's four o'clock. See what we got here for progress. Can never find that power button on the side of this, and I'm uh, oh, charging ninety-two percent. So it's working well, ninety-two percent. It's almost done. Well, free energy right there, guys. Absolutely free energy. Well, it's 4.20 in the afternoon. I have the Sunjack waterproof light stick. And I'm going to hook that up to here as well with its charging cable. Because I checked and it had, let me see, this way. It had three out of four LEDs lit up, and I really want to try this out tonight in the tiny house on wheels and see how it goes. Now, it's late in the afternoon, so I don't expect a lot of charging out of this. Okay, now it's showing the, uh, it's showing the LEDs. Right now, it's showing all four LEDs lit. I'll let that charge the rest of the afternoon. We don't have much time left, but maybe a good hour or so of daylight. Now the uh, LED light stick says it takes four to five hours to charge. And I figure I got an hour left. And there's uh, three out of four uh, LEDs lit on the charging status, charge status indicator. So I figure it should be all right. Right now it's the sun is low, so these sh grass is casting shadows on the solar panels all right well we'll let that run for a while what's cool about this solar panel is you can charge two devices at once 
I really like that fact. There's two USB outputs. So, um, especially when you're on the go, um, hiking, camping, or survival situation, or bugging out, or just like me, off the grid, when you have a sunny day, you got to power up your devices now. You can't be waiting around. And sometimes it takes me days to get everything charged up out here when the sun finally shines after a cloudy period. So having two outputs on this solar panel and having 14 total watts of capacity, that's really good. Well, the sun is down. But it looks like that's still charging. See the blue light? It's not blinking though, so it must mean it's fully charged. Can you see that? There's, oh funny, on camera it looks like it's moving. Uh, there's four solid lights, so it must mean it's fully charged. And, let's see, sorry I'm freehanding this one. I should be able to see what I'm doing this time though. The sun is down. And, charged. Can you see that? Where is it? Yeah, it's impossible. You're gonna have to just trust me. It's fully charged. And, uh, I did it. Charged up my tablet for free. It's free energy. I like that. Well, thank you, uh, Go Green Solar for sending the Sun Jack. I have a lot more testing to do, but this is day one, and I am very well pleased. Thank you very much, guys. Well, as you can see, it's early morning. The sun has not yet cleared the trees, but yet it's charging the LED light stick. Sorry, you probably can't see that as well as I can. It looks like on camera it's flickering. But the LEDs are going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure if that shows properly. Meaning the light stick is charging off the solar panels even in indirect sunlight early morning, 8.30 in the morning. And uh, that's, that's really good. I have had other portable solar panels before and I was not impressed with their quality and with their charging capabilities. They were miserable. Even in full sun you had to have them directly into the full sunlight. So I like the fact that this works even when it's in direct sunlight in the early morning hours. That gives you an entire day of sunlight. So pretty good. I just plugged in my cell phone to the sun jack solar panel. It is, let me see if you can see it, charging 54%. Can you see that? I think that showed up. Where are we? 54%. Yeah, there you see it. 54%. I only have an hour before I have to leave, so I'm going to let this sit for the hour and charge up and see what we'll get in one hour from the solar panel. And in the meantime, the Waterproof LED light stick is still charging. It's been on for an hour, I think, so far. So we'll come back in an hour and see how my phone looks. And then I gotta hit the road, so free energy. Using free energy, I love it. Alright, the it's been an hour more. The USB uh, LED light is still charging. Let's see what the phone says. I know the phone will not be charged. What do we got here? 61% in an hour. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. 61%. Um, it's really hard to see because it's sunny. Uh, in an hour, from 54 to 61%. Um, not too terrible, uh, but considering the sun was not full above at the time, so I can't complain. Now the sun's going to be moving over the uh, horizon here, so I've got to adjust this appropriately. All right, and uh, let that LED light charge up today for free, free energy. I know I keep saying that, but I love it. Well, now it's late afternoon sun, and it's in shadow again, but let me see what we got here. The light is charged. Can you see the blue lights? All four lit up right here so it's charged now it'll be good for four or five days of uh, more of light inside the tiny house on wheels this right now has been my main source of light in the evenings it is ultra powerful 
I have to do a video and show you what it look, how it lights up the entire house. Well, the Sunjack solar panel, this folding solar panel is going to be one of the most heavily used devices at the off-grid homestead. And I'm sure I'm going to use it out of the homestead as well for years to come because it is pretty amazing. And I'm charging devices every day because every day I have to charge devices. I do live off the grid, but because of the nature of making YouTube videos and website marketing, I uh, have a lot of electronic devices that charge all the time. Here we have a status indicator, 29%, and charging. So I'll leave this out here, and actually, I'm going to hook up my, my um, camera, this, to charge as well, because it's getting low. It is uh, 10 minutes to 11 in the morning, and you can see I'm getting full sunlight on the Sunjack solar panel. And I've got my cable for the camera here. I want to plug that in as well, so be back in a minute here. All right, now the camera is tethered. I am charging the camera, which I will leave out here for a while because it's pretty low on battery power. And so, what I, I mean, I know I keep repeating this. This is a... Uh, product I've been using for days already and this so I might repeat a lot so forgive me because this is multiple days that uh, I'm using this but I really love the fact that I can charge two devices at once I've never seen a portable backpacking solar panel like this with two USB outputs which is really really convenient especially if you're like me and you've got multiple devices all the time camera cell phone. Uh, if you're hiking a lot, you might use GPS. If you're fishing, you might have a fish finder. Um, whatever the case, or the por portable battery packs to light up your USB-powered lights at night, which I'll be showing you in another video. So, good stuff. I'm loving it. I'm really liking it. And definitely something heavily used here. Well, my camera is fully charged. Fully charged on the solar panel here. So that's a good thing, and now I can go give you some updates on what's been going on at the homestead. Uh, I love this thing. Well, the Sunjack solar panel I've had out here again today charging up the battery pack that they sent with it and the um, waterproof light stick that I've been using quite heavily in the tiny, tiny house. Um, I want to thank you guys for sending the Sunjack. It's been heavily used out here at the off-grid homestead and uh, as far as convenience and portability um, it's really awesome I'll do some future videos when I'm out hiking and uh, on the road off the road so this is just the first review that I've done on this so far um, but I am extremely impressed with the quality the, uh, the quality of materials this is really thick and durable and the quality of the solar panels, the power of the solar panels, because it charges up some stuff. It seriously charges up some stuff. Um, this is, I have to say, the best I've had in my hands. And I've tried quite a few. I think I've said that before, but this, I've been, I've been uh, reviewing this for about a month now, I think. So I don't rush my reviews. I take my time, I test things out, and I use it for real. And this is the best I've had. So I want to thank the guys over at Sunjack, and I would definitely highly recommend this. And uh, I'll put a link down be below in the video description where you can get one. 